Bowen is going to be locked down in third. Owen oh, Larson gets shot out of line. Back up at traffic and Martin Truex Jr. cartwheels under the catch fencing and barrel rolls onto the ground. And the caution is flag is flown and now the red flag immediately thrown out onto the racetrack. The cars will stop on the backstretch and will slow it down here in Daytona. A massive, massive crash on the front straightaway. Martin Truex Jr. turtled that race car right at pit road exit here. Let's take a deep breath here and take a look at this replay. All right, you see there, David Reagan just shot the five car down to the grass, and after that, Larson had no control whatsoever, and that car shot back to the right. Let's take a look from another angle here into the trial. You see Larson get shot out, spinning the rear tires, trying to save it, but oh, Martin Truex Jr. just climbs over the right rear tire and flies over the rest of the field and into the catch fencing. Right there, just right over top of that right rear tire, over top of Ryan Priest's car. And so many cars have to evade through the grass in the infield here. Man, just a vicious flyover, essentially, over Ryan Priest there. But the Truex did. Oh, no! Big crash on the back straightaway takes out William Byron, Kyle Busch, and Harrison Burton. Somebody was upside down. Who it was. Lap 63. Caution number three. I would say it's that 21 car, it looks like, by looking at the Now linked up as 2311's linked up on the outside. Off of turn number two, coming to two laps to go. And oh, Daniel Suarez up and over, flipping wildly down into the trioval, landing in pit road, and the ambulance instantly over there to attend to the 99 driver. A major crash coming off of turn number four. Jimmy Johnson giving Daniel Suarez the wrong push. And coming off at turn number four, the car picked up and flipped violently going through the trial. Very reminiscent to Ryan Priest's crash back in August. Here comes Pure Bush very... 3 wide. Oh, Denny Hamlin gets turned hard in the outside wall. And there's a big wreck behind them. There's multiple cars are involved, and Hamlin took the worst hit there. Huge damage on that number 11 FedEx machine. You see. Wallace, Reddick, and Suarez down by the inside wall, all taken out as well. Harrison Burton with damage. The red flag's going to come out and end the stage. Well, Kyle Busch loses off the corner, and look at how hard Danny Hamlin hits the wall, almost upside down. And Kyle Busch comes back up the track, collects another one that's Busher, and he also hit Harrison Burton. Wow, huge hit on the back straightaway here in Michigan, and the red flag is out. And it does look like we have some precipitation coming down nearby the racetrack, so we're going to hope that doesn't hit the racetrack. No, and it looks like this storm is here. Hamlin with a huge hit, going to take him out of the race. Kyle Larson is your stage winner. We'll get stage results here in a moment. Todd Gillen leads the Daytona 500 as he goes now down to the bottom lane. If they make it to the white flag, the race will be official. Up to block, contact, crashing. Oh, Todd oh, Gillen flipping over. violently. A terrifying accident. And the caution is back out. Horrible, horrible accident there for Todd Gilland. The car flipping violently. And we're back under red flag conditions with Chastain, the leader. Todd Gillen takes one of the wildest rides in Daytona 500 history. Shades of Ryan Newman all the way back in 2003. Let's hope he's okay after getting loose off the bumper 
of the 16 car, if I can remember correctly, yeah, and just tumbled, just dug it, just flipped over, and then t- dug into the grass. It's shades of pretty much every wreck ever from Daytona with, that involves a flip. Yeah, you never like to see cars just dig in like that. A scary, scary crash. AJ Allmendinger getting towed away. The 16 car is done and out of this race. And of course, the 38 car is as well. As you just see the absolute carnage on that 38 car. I mean, it got absolutely just decimated in this accident when it dug in, tore off the entire fender, ripped the suspension pretty much apart, and the entire front wheels are you know, not in the right place anymore. Just a frightening, frightening crash. You never like to see things like that at Daytona. You can't stop them. They happen. But it's glad to see that he walked away at the same time. You know, we saw two crashes like that. This sort of reminded me of those. Tyler Reddick and Christopher Bell here last time we were here at Daytona. Frightening frightening grass flips on the back straightaway in that race another thing this reminds me of at daytona's sister track talladega on the on our uh hollywood hotel